Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. I just installed this Black Ops winch on this wild boar bumper. It's really very nice, but I really didn't go through the specifics of the wiring. I'd like to go and address winch wiring, wiring to properly wire up electrically the, the winch. And this applies for virtually all winches, front winch, rear winch, UTV, ATV, automobiles, etc. Let's, let's start by taking a look at the winch itself and seeing the two contacts. So when we look at the winch, on one side are the yellow and blue contacts. And these are what power the winch. In one polarity, it's moving the, moving the drive in opposite or reversing the polarity that allows the winch to come out. So these two wires are very important. And they go to the central unit known as the solenoid, also the receiver if you have a remote control. The solenoid is what distributes the power via a, a mechanism that uh, will change the polarity of the, of the energy coming to the motor. This is a solenoid. I have it mounted to the back wall here. And you can see the blue line and the yellow line that go directly to the winch. And we have the wires to the winch coursing to the winch itself, cabled up, cable tied up. And then the winch has a red and a black line also, which need to go either directly to the battery or to the pulse bar that has direct battery connections. Here's the red hot wire, and here's the black ground wire. There's one other important wire to the solenoid. You can see the junction there that we have run up to the front. That's what is connected to the switch forward and reverse this is the switch it has a little rubber coating this is not a very good switch I'm actually going to replace it but it has an in and an out so that it's going to going to pull the, the the line in it's going to allow the line to go out now we're supposed to have this connected to a hot lead that only works when when the key when the key is on but i put it to a always on hot lead because there'll be sometimes occasionally that i may need to use this winch with the engine off so that's your choice on how you do it also the remote control will work as well you can see that right here you have to push these buttons in for a few seconds and the red light goes on and then this allows the winch to be operated from a remote so thank you for your interest in wiring, electrical wiring for a winch. It's applicable to basically all winches, uh, whether it's on a UTV, ATV, a car, etc. Um, that solenoid or receiver, that has the, uh, that has the receiver part from the, um, from the remote control as well. But the solenoid is important because that allows the energy to be given to the winch to allow it to come in or release and go out. Again, Adventures with Dr. Joe. Please consider subscribing and like. Comments are very welcome. Thank you very much.